So when tying the pint caddis, we're gonna have an extended body. So you're gonna need an extended body tool, a needle, this is just a piece of wire. Anything like that's gonna work really well. Uh, this is Thevis 12 aught, uh, just a small diameter thread. And this is 0.5 millimeter razor foam. So if you get it from Wopsy, there's uh, 0.5 and one millimeter. You want, definitely wanna use the smaller of the two. But I'm gonna start by just pinching a small strip right on top of this piece of wire. And I'm gonna wrap right on top of that, tying it down. Trim off that little tag end of thread there. Don't have to wrap it too tight, you just don't want it to twist. And I just go up once and back down and I whip finish there and you can go ahead and trim your thread off. So we've got probably three inches here hanging out the back. Now I'm gonna just apply super glue to it while I wrap and I'm just gonna wrap it up just like this all the way to the front. Real simple. And any, you know, kind of liquid super glue works really well for this. Just kind of add a little bit, smooth it out. You can always add more as you go. Got a little excess coming out there. You can just wipe that off. I always go up a little further than I probably need to, just to make sure I have enough. Once we get there, just pull that body right off. There we are, there's our extended body. Take out that little piece of wire there and put in our hook. And this is, this is a size 16 here, uh, but it's a stubby T hook from Umqua. Great hook, lots of hook gap. So when tying this in, we want about a hook shank's length out the back there. So it's gonna stick out right around there. Now I'm gonna come in, cut this. I'm, you wanna leave some to tie in. Uh, and then I'm also gonna just poke a hole right down the middle here. Right where that hook needs to go through. I'm gonna take the hook out. And we're just gonna slide that through. There we go. Just like that right there. Once that's on there, always come in, just add a little bit of glue. Just to make sure it stays in place. We're gonna tie on top of it as well, so it's really probably not gonna move. It's just probably not super necessary, but a little bit of security. Start our thread base. This is that same Beavis thread, 12 watts, nice and thin. 70 denier, UTC works great too. And all my tying is gonna be from about the hook point forward. So I'm gonna leave definitely some foam exposed on the hook there. I'm just gonna tie all this down. So we have a nice little ramp. There we are. Next steps, take CDC feather. It's just a tan CDC feather. I'm gonna tie it in with kind of the stem out the back along with the body. And again, I'm going right to about the hook point. And then I'm gonna just trim off the tip here. And tie 
all that down. There we go. We're just going to leave that hanging out the back for a little while. Next step, just take some elk hair here. This is just select cow elk. Uh, not a whole lot, just kind of your typical, you know, size 16 caddis amount. Get all this under fur out here. And we're going to just stick it in the hair stacker. Tips down so that the tips all align real nice. Couple taps, pull apart. There we go. Now I want these to end up being a little shy of that tail. About right there is great, so I'm gonna just pinch it to the hook there. And tie it down. We're tying down right behind the eye. A couple nice tight wraps. I'm still pinching it and I'm just going to work my way back. Some of these fibers in the front you got to kind of comb back as you go. But I'm going to go almost all the way to the back. I'm going to leave a little bit of space there between the abdomen and our elk hair. Got a stray hair there. There we go. I'm gonna just tie this down nice and tight. There we are. Come back to the elk hair. And I have two CDC feathers here and just a you know clip. This is the Petty Jean Magic Tool, you can do the Swiss CDC clamp, whatever whatever works for you. Uh, but that's two, you can do just one, uh, but you really need kind of the whole feather amount of CDC. But I'm gonna just cut the stems off here. There we go, just like that. And you can do whatever you want here. Um, you can do a dubbing loop, you can split your thread however you want to spin this CDC up. I prefer just split the thread. I'll put all that CDC in there and leave a good little bit hanging out the back. You don't want it too close to the thread because you actually do want a little bit of fluffiness to it. There we go. I'm just going to spin the bobbin here. And these uh, adjustable double arm bobbins from Umqua spin very nice. They're super balanced. If you like to split your thread, I'd highly recommend trying one. All right. Take a brush and just kind of brush some of these fibers out. All right, so my first wrap, I'm actually gonna come behind this elk hair. Actually, my first two wraps, I'm gonna go behind that elk hair. Kinda helps stand it up. It also just ends up with a buggier fly when, when you do that. And the rest, I'm just gonna wrap forward, kinda palmer as you go, but you know, as much as you can. Let my thread unwind here so it's strong again. There we go. All right. Just kind of come back in here and pick out any trapped CDC fibers. There will definitely be some. go. All right, now I'm going to take my needle here and I'm just going to split this elk hair in half. Just creating two 
wings, and I'm gonna take the CDC feather that we've had hanging out the back this whole time. I'm just gonna bring it over the top, pull it tight. We're gonna tie it right there behind the elk hair head. I typically get two loose wraps and kind of pull tight and it kind of helps splay out the those wings a little bit more. Get a couple nice tight wraps. Then I'm gonna just fold all this back, get right there behind the eye, and we can whip finish. Trim our thread there. And then pull all the elk hair and that CDC stem forward, just like you would an elk hair caddis. Line your scissors right there in front of the eye of the hook. Just snip it there. Then this is kind of an optional thing, but I always like to come in and just kind of trim this flush just so it sits on the water a little better. And there you go. That's pint caddis. This is a size 16. Now it is an extended body, so it's a little bigger than a 16, um, but it's a great fly. It sits on the water great. It, it's never one of those that's gonna roll over because you've got these split wings, so it kind of acts as stabilizers, just really sits on the water nice, catches a lot of good fish. Now to try one out.